Hey, what's up? It's fucking Schnell again, and uh, thanks for tuning in to Vital Vinyl Vlog number two. Um, yes, I'm wearing an old Ohm t-shirt from uh, when they were touring on P Pilgrimage. It was uh, also the last time I saw them uh, live with um, Chris on drums, so that was cool. But um, today, we're going to go through... Uh, three uh, recent pickups um, number one though is a uh, gruesome savage land the Maryland death fest uh, beer colored edition which is limited to a hundred copies I happen to have one sometimes it's weird like I have trouble like the b-side it came a little like Worked like sometimes it plays fine, and other times it's like wah, 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 wah. I don't know, it just sounds fucking wonky and shit. But when you see the color, it's just it is dope. I mean, I don't drink anymore, but like, just such a sick fucking color, like amazing and just hold on as much as I love like death and like leprosy and stuff like I picked up scream bloody gore but I should have got leprosy as well but I, I wanted the red copy of scream bloody gore so uh, I'll, I'll review that another time but for now gruesome savage land fucking just if you like death and you like leprosy, then there's no reason this should not be in your fucking record collection. Like, even the, like, the inside, like, it just reminds me of, like, the inside of, like, uh, fucking Scream Bloody Gore. Like, I just, like, the way the lyrics, like, the way that, like, uh, fucking Matt Harvey, like, just, like, you know, his, like, patterns, you know, like, your mind no longer your own, within your thoughts evil powers grow, it takes hold of your soul never to let go, raped by darkness, you worth in pain, holy pages now burn in flames, like, you know how Chuck would say those words, he would say it like I know, like, it's fucking sick, dude, it's like, if you didn't tell me that, like, this was, like, a fucking newer like band and newer record I'd be like fuck you this is like some death material I just never heard before but if you get a chance pick this the fuck up I know it's sold out on this color and uh, the people at relapse are trying to get me to send it back because I've been having problems with the b-side and they're like, oh, like, we'll replace it with a bronze, a bronze color, like, yeah, I want to be able to listen to the full record, but, like, I bought this because of it's limited, like, whatever, who cares? I could still, I could still play it, so I don't really give a fuck. Same thing with, uh... The new gruesome EP, Dimensions of Horror, I mean, the artwork by Eric is fucking amazing, just like it was on Savage Land. The back just reeks of old school death metal in every fucking possible way, and I love it. I got a three-quarter base, I got the bundle package with this, but, um, I just got it on regular black vinyl, but... It's weird how, like, these, uh, new Relapse EPs, like, they all play on, uh, 45, and, uh, they're not 7 inches, they're full 12 inches, and it fucking rules, like, they might as well just made this an album, like, it's six tracks of just, uh, again, death worship, but this time... They went backwards, and it's more scream bloody gore than leprosy worship, which is cool with me, because both those records are two of my favorites of all time. And, uh, 
start right here. <laughs> I get, I'm not real prepared as you could tell. I haven't done this in months, but again, you have the same kind of layout with the lyrics and, uh, you know, brought forth to die covered in blood. Executioner laughs under his hood. No hope left. Act blade has dropped. The forces of death cannot be stopped. You will die. You will die. You will die. Forces of death take your nearest breath. Sever in your head. Forces of death. Like, I don't know, it's fucking sick. And it looks like the little repulsion guy there, but it's not. It's just, uh, I guess a little, a little tip of the hat. It's sick. But again, I have problems with the B-side. Like, I don't know what's up with Relapse, but... Like... I had the digital version, and, uh... I love this fucking EP, and I know how sick the B-side is, so... To not be able to really listen to it every time sucks. Relapse wants me to send... This, along with Savage Land, back for new copies. I mean, if I send back Savage Land, like I said, I don't have, it's no longer the, I don't know, I might as well just buy another copy of Savage Land once I get money, but we're gonna do a little something different, because I, as I said, I'm gonna actually do this shit for real, so. Another pickup. Not metal, but just an amazing fucking release but I do not know what pressing this is I do not know shit about it except for I was at Barnes and Noble picking up uh, George R. R. Martin's A Night of the Seven Kingdoms and I saw that they had records so I bought Enter the 36 Chambers Enter the Wu-Tang and I bought Black Sabbath, Master of Reality, I guess it was a record store day, um, double LP, uh, it's got some sick shit on it, but this doesn't even have an insert, it's just plain black, you got your Shaolin sword side, and you got the fucking Wu-Tang sword on the other, just sick fucking album, it's just... I don't even like hip hop, but like it's one of the it's one of the best hip hop records ever made, in my opinion. Like, and my opinion sucks when it comes to hip hop. Like, I'll listen to a Demigods record straight through and enjoy it. I'll listen to Wu Tang Clan Forever and this record, and I love it. But every, like, I feel like everything else fucking sucks. Especially the new shit you kids listen to at trap music or whatever. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love me some old 3-6 Mafia, but... Excuse me. All this new shit you kids listen to just... Fucking breaks my brain. Well... Anyway, I'm guessing... That since I got this at fucking Barnes & Noble that it's a record store day like release but there's no indication of that there's no dates there's nothing like like i would really like to know i, I mean i'm not that stupid so i'm guessing that this is brand new i mean it is it was brand new but i'm guessing this isn't an original fucking wu-tang vinyl because I also heard the original, they pressed themselves, so... This is pressed by, uh... RCA. And, uh... Loud Records. But, I wish this was, a. I I wish I had an insert, like... But... Like I said great fucking hip-hop record just if you need something different if you're like a metalhead or whatever and you hate hip-hop like most metalheads hate hip-hop but um 
Yeah, I think we got time for uh, a little quickie uh, song. Hold on one second. Actually, you know what? We'll get to it next time. Thanks for uh, checking this out again. I'm gonna give Gruesome Savage Land probably a 9 out of 10. It's fucking just an amazing death metal record. Just so fucking good. Again, though, if you like death, or even if you've never heard death, if you never heard death, then get the fuck off my channel, but they're awesome. You need death in your life. Now, Dimensions of Horror, again, 9 out of 10. It's my type of death metal. I mean, I love this shit. And Enter the Wu-Tang, it's just a fucking classic. I mean, I have, I have, should I even score this? Like, it's a 10 out of 10. For a hip-hop record, if I can listen to it, it's 10 out of 10. Like, I mean, and it's just, it fucking rules. Like, especially the B-side fucking uh, Wu-Tang Sword. It's just, it's so good. So, if you can find this, I'm sure you can pick it up, but... Also, get your hands on these, because you will be fucking stoked. So, I just want to say thank you to everybody that watched this, and uh, I'll keep uploading videos and stuff, just as long as you guys keep watching them. Hit subscribe, click like. We'll also be doing, like, BMX vlogs, uh, film reviews, a ton of shit. Coffee time with Schnell, snack time with Schnell. We're gonna make a real YouTube page, motherfuckers. So, let's help out. Let's send me some banana bread. Try to put some THC in it, but like I said, this is Chanel. Peace and pussy. I'll talk to you guys next time.